Hello everyone, we know that the plant extracts like curcumin, silamarin and green tea have powerful positive effects on human body. Unfortunately, these botanicals are not well absorbed by the body. In effect, our body cannot benefit from the drug if the bioavailability is very low. How can we best absorb these extracts? The answer is phytosome technology. So friends, today let's talk about phytosome. The word phyto stands for plant while some represent cellular. Phytosomes are extremely tiny cells resembling in structure. So let's define phytosome. Phytosomes are novel drug delivery system containing hydrophilic bioactive phytoconstants of the herbs surround and bound by phospholipids. That means it acts like a super molecule. And these phytoconstants include it is otherwise known as plant secondary metabolites which include flavonoids, glycosides and tannins. These water soluble constituents are poorly absorbed by the conventional drug products and what are all the reasons for poor absorption? First one, the large molecular size so that they cannot be absorbed by the simple diffusion. Second one, poor lipid solubility and another reason, the limited ability to pass across the lipid rich biological membrane which results in poor bioavailability. Then, extracts when taken orally some constituents may be destroyed in the gastric environment so these are all the reasons for the uh, poor absorption so phytosome technology is a solution to overcome these problems by using the phytosome the water soluble phytoconstants can be converted into lipid compatible molecular complexes moreover the phytosomes are more readily bioavailable Preparation of phytosomes. Phytosomes are generally prepared by reacting natural or synthetic phospholipids that is soya lecithin with herbal extracts. The active components like bioflavonoids and polyphenolic constituents and the soya lecithin contains phosphatidyl choline which is having a dual function. The phosphatidyl part is lipophilic in nature and choline part is hydrophilic in nature. The choline part attached with the hydrophilic chief active constituent whereas the phosphatidyl part with lipid soluble compound attached with the choline bond complex. It results in the formation of the lipid complex with better stability and bioavailability. The solvent evaporation method is the most common technique used for the preparation of the phytosome. So this is the structure for the phytophospholipid complex or phytosome. Here the phytophospholipid complexes are formed by the interaction between the active phytoconstituent and the polar head of the phospholipid via hydrogen bond interaction. If the green color it is a phospholipid, red color mark it is our drug molecule or active constituent. It interacted to form a phytophospholipid complex. In other words, these are drug loaded micelles. And after the formation of this phytophospholipid complex, the membrane permeability and the oil water partition coffee of the active constituent imbrew and these complexes are more readily absorbed and they increase the bioavailability compared with the free active constituents okay common stages of preparation the solution of phospholipids in organic solvent treated with extract then drying formation of the thin film hydration and formation of the phytosomal suspension Properties. Phytosomes are lipophilic substances with definite melting point and freely soluble in nonpolar solvents and moderately soluble in fat. And phytosome is a complex between the natural phytoconstituent and the natural phospholipid. And they increase the absorption through the formation of the micelles. Preparation of phytosomes. Phytosomes are generally prepared by reacting natural or synthetic phospholipids that is soya lecithin with herbal extracts, the active components like bioflavonoids and polyphenolic constituents and the soya lecithin contains phosphatidyl choline which is having a dual function. The phosphatidyl Next, evaluation or characterization of the phytosome. It can be done by different methods like entrapment efficiency determined by ultra centrifugation technique, vesicle size determined by light scattering, surface tension activity measurement, spectroscopical evaluation can be done by proton NMR, carbon 13 NMR and FTIR. Phytosome has been an emerging trend in the drug delivery of the herbal drugs and nutraceutical. So let's see some of the examples. Curcumin phytosome, 
it is a chemoprotective agent silibum phytosome which contains silimarin hepatoprotective glycerisa phytosome which contains glycerinic acid and inflammatory activity jingo select phytosome which contains ginsenoside as the active constituent adaptogenic and immunomodulatory jingo leaves which contain jingolides brain tonic and anti aging green tea phytosome epigallocatechin is a main constituent it's a nutraceutical naringenin phytosome which contains naringenin it prolong the duration of the action and antioxidant then grape seed hawthorn phytosome which contain flavonoid it's a nutraceutical and cardioprotective so these are some of the examples for um, phytosome formulations so nammal kaiyna rendu classes la ite phytosomes liposome idu rendum kandu endana idu rendinteyum difference what are all the difference in phytosomes the phosphatidyl choline and the plant components are actually in a in a ratio that means 1 is to 1 or 2 is to 1 molecular complex ratio while in liposome the water soluble substance with phosphatidyl choline in definite ratio under specific condition and the phytosome involve chemical bonds whereas in liposome no chemical bond is involved and phytosomes are better absorbed than liposomes and better bioavailability and the liposomes it's less than that of phytosomes from the diagram we can understand the fundamental difference between the liposome and phytosome in liposome the active ingredient dissolve in the medium contained in the cavity that means in the aqueous core or in the layers of the membrane while in phytosome the molecules are anchored through the chemical bonds or the hydrogen bond to the polar head of the phospholipid that means it forms a phosphatidyl choline drug complex so uh, in short the phytosome technology this novel technology can be used for uh, the encapsulation of the polyphenolic compounds and the nutraceutical especially in the cosmetics so that's all about uh, the phytosomes thank you